Hey everybody, my name is Maya and welcome to my channel. I've been dying to get out of school all day today and it's finally over. And now I'm at a creek to do some fishing. It's about 65 degrees today and the weather is absolutely gorgeous. Today is truly a beautiful day to catch some fish. So let's get to it. Oh man, that's looking real fishy today. So as I'm approaching the water here, I'm noticing it's very high. We've been getting a lot of rain. Ooh, there's all little fish in here darting around. So yeah, the water level is much higher than it was the last couple times we were here. And I'm thinking that's probably gonna trigger the fish to bite. I'm starting off with this two inch black and chartreuse paddle tail on a 1 16th ounce jig head. And this is like an orange, just yellow colored jig head. I'm gonna start just casting underneath this bridge. See if I can get anything. Oh, fish on. Oh my gosh, it feels like a big one. Could you get the net? That's probably a big fish. It's actually a very big fish. Steady pressure. Come on, don't fall off. Don't fall off. Oh my goodness. Don't go that way. There's a lot of snags over there. Alright. Twenty-eight. That's a personal best. Sweet. Personal best on the fifth cast. All right. So this fish is four point two pounds, twenty-eight inches, like a fifth cast. This is actually a personal best northern pike for me. Absolutely gorgeous fish. We're gonna get some pictures with this guy and let him go. All right. Personal best northern pike. Oh, yeah. He's getting a little antsy. We're gonna just. Give him a nice release in this beautiful day. Might take him a minute to swim off. Had him out of the water for a little while. All right, buddy. Go on. See you later. As a side note, this is precisely why you never want to mess around with the teeth of a fish. Look at what that pike did to my hook. He almost straightened it completely. I'm so glad that he didn't break off. That would have been really sad. Oh, that's a nice fish. So far, it's fighting like a smallie. Oh, it could be a pike. Oh my gosh. I'm so afraid it's going to come off. Oh, it's a pike. Hurry, hurry, hurry. It's a pike. Yes! This is my second pike of the day. A really healthy fish, you can tell. Girth on this one is very large for its size. He's not letting go of the grippers. What the heck? Oh, there he goes. All right, see you later, buddy. When I've come to this creek on previous occasions, the pike that I've caught out of here have been thin, almost emaciated looking, and they haven't really been totally healthy, but the ones that I've been catching today are definitely more healthy. They've been feeding really well, no doubt stocking up for winter. So I'm really grateful to be catching these really nice, healthy fish today. So let's hopefully get some more. That's a fish. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna definitely need help with this one, Dad. I don't know what this is, but it's huge. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm going to need to follow it. What did I just hook into? What did I just hook into? Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Please don't come off. Please don't come off. Oh, please don't come off. Please don't come off. Oh, I'm shaking so bad and I don't even know what it is. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a pike? It's a pike. It's a really nice one too. It's a really nice one. Oh my gosh. Please, get him, get him. No. <laughs> wow. Nice nut job. Sir. Nice nut job is right. Whoa, all right, he is definitely ready. Take off the grippers. See you later, friend. Oh, yes! Oh my gosh. This is awesome. My goodness, I can't believe this. You know, this is what happens. I catch a big fish, run all the way downstream with it, and what does he do? He takes my spot. I see how it is. fish on. Oh my gosh. What the heck did I just hook? Oh my gosh, it's another giant pike. Uh, I'm probably going to need help with the net, yeah. Please don't break me off. Please don't break me off. There's a big brush thing here. Don't go into that. Don't go into that. No! There's no way I'm going to land this fish. There's no way that I'm going to land this fish. This thing is a tank. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. Oh, nice. That was a good run. There's a big thing of brush right here. I'm trying to keep him out of it. Yeah. There's a guy on the bridge watching us. No. Oh god. Well, it's fighting really hard. Here he comes, here he comes, right here. Did you see my line? Oh yeah. Oh my god! He's a beast. Dude! <laughs> Dude! Holy cow! Oh my god! Look at that fish! This is a personal best. 5.2 pounds, which one-ups my personal best from earlier in this video. Wow, what a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. All right, I'm gonna get him released. I wanna get this beautiful pike back where she belongs. All right, and that way is the way to freedom. Oh my goodness, that is not good. Don't worry guys, he swam off fine. It just took him a minute to come to his senses. Like, what just happened? I mean, really, like, what just happened? I was at the creek for like an hour and a half. It was not that much time. And I managed to catch four pike, the first five casts, and I caught my personal best pike. And then like the last couple casts, I won up to that personal best and got a new personal best, which like, when does that happen? <laughs> the second personal best that I got was 5.2 pounds, 28 and a half inches, which is by far the biggest pike that I've ever gotten, and that was super exciting. I had such a good time today. Thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, fish on, my friends.